Hi everyone. So in this particular video lecture, we'll be discussing about the creation or maintaining of the baselines in Primavera P6. Also, we will be assigning the baseline to our project of IT building construction. So in the dictionary of Primavera P6, creating baselines is similar to maintaining baselines. Okay. So at the very first place, <clears throat> what is a baseline? See, whenever we go for a project, whenever we execute a project so before starting of the project itself we create some particular schedule which is called as the baseline schedule which is just the plan that we will be executing our project as per this particular plan so that particular planned schedule is called as the baseline it it's not necessary that it is always created during the starting of the project only like in between also you can create some midway kind of baseline but more i would say more frequently we create it during the starting of the project or even before your project starts or even during your tendering stage also sometimes you create some schedules and all okay so that particular schedule which is the plan that our project will go as per this particular schedule, as per this particular plan. So that schedule is called as the baseline schedule. Okay. So see, we have one particular project called as IT building construction. I have copied this particular project and named the project as sample project with the ID of sample just to uh, clear something when we'll be discussing about the uh, baseline uh, in this particular video only. So first of all, we will create a baseline. So how to create a baseline? You need to go to the tools tab and you need to go to the project and you need to go to maintain baselines. So you click on this particular project, IT building construction, since we are dealing with IT building construction project. So see, you need to click on this add button now. So you see there are two options to add new baseline. One is save a copy of the current project as a new baseline. See, might be possible that you have a complete different project schedule during your uh, planning phase but now your schedule is totally going different so in that particular case you need to separately add one schedule as the baseline schedule but most probably what happens is the sequence of the activities remains the same it's just the date that changes here and there so most cases what we do is we copy the same project, whatever we are dealing with, and we change the dates. Like we change the start dates and we change some different relationships or something in between we change little, little. Otherwise, more or less, the sequence of the activities don't change much. Okay. So there are two options. Either what you can do is whatever is your current project, you can save a copy of this particular project as a new baseline. That means you will replicate the same project and you will assign that same project only as the baseline but same project cannot be the baselines there there will be some changes when you execute versus the baseline so in the baseline what you can do is after creating the copy you can make some changes like this was the start right now the project which we are dealing with it building construction it is the actual project whatever the dates are actual dates but baseline will be the planned ones, so the dates might change. Otherwise, what you can do is you can convert any other project. If you have some other project in your uh, uh, Primavera P6, which was the baseline of that particular project. So you can convert that project also uh, as the baseline. So see both cases I'll show you. So first of all, we will convert another project. So we'll click on OK. Now see, we have one more project, which is the sample project. So we can add this particular project as the baseline for IT building construction project. So this is one method, but we are not going to do this. Instead, what we are going to do is we are going to just copy this particular project only and we will create a new baseline. So when we click on OK, you see that it has copied the same project with a different name of IT building construction B1. So that is how we create a baseline. So our baseline has been created. Now you can delete this particular baseline if you want. You can restore also. If you restore is what will happen is it will get displayed. See, right now I'm closing this. And if I go to projects, then you see that only these two projects are being shown. You cannot make any changes to IT building construction B1. You need to make changes. No, that is the baseline. So you need to update some dates and all in the baseline because baseline cannot be same as the executed project. So what you can do is you can go to project, 
maintain baselines and you can restore this particular project so are you sure you want to unlink the selected baseline from the current project and make them separate so if you click on yes and you click on close now you can check this project here you can open this project you can make these changes whatever you want and then you can later on again add this baseline as the baseline of it building construction see there is other way also with which you can do that which i'll show you later so go to project maintain baseline add back convert okay and we will choose this and now you see it has been added here now we will click on close what next to be done is you need to assign this baseline this is just the creation of the baseline it is not yet assigned so you need to go to project you need to click on assign baselines now see this particular is our project for this we have to only assign the baseline so there are three types of baselines which we can assign maybe primary secondary or tertiary so we will go to project baseline this will be the main baseline or the primary baseline also b1 if you want to assign some secondary baseline see your project baselines can also change depending on so many changes like changes in the scope alteration in drawings and all or maybe design and all changes so might be possible that you will have secondary baseline also tertiary baseline also so if you have different baselines you can add those different baselines and you can compare your project with different baselines also so we have created our main baseline and we can click on okay and now this particular baseline is assigned to our main project so this is how we create the baseline and this is how we maintain the baseline okay so that's all for the video but uh, i think one more thing is there if you want to change your baseline thing so how you can do is you can go to project and you can click on maintain baseline now see after clicking on this there is one option called as update so from here you can update your baseline if you want so when updating the project data what needs to be done is like you need to include your work products you need to include wbs you need to include the risk and all what all activities you want to include for updating so you can choose the activities with the filter like you only want critical activities you only want the activities which are milestones you only want non critical activities so you can choose the activities right now i'll be going with all activities okay then you have some other update options also like while updating the activity data what all you want like you want constraints you want dates i am choosing constraints dates relationships also then your expenses also actual units budgeted units all these things and i am clicking on okay okay you can choose where to save this particular file so you can choose maybe desktop if you want okay so after you click on update so it will update your baseline as per your requirements so let it load it will take some time to load so update process has been completed if you want to view the log you can view the log from here so this is how you can update your baseline also the other way is you can restore this baseline and then you can make the changes to your baseline so i hope this is clear to you how to create the baseline how to maintain it and how to assign it so that's all for the video thank you everyone